a soldier named Maurice fighting for Rome near the border of Switzerland and northern Italy. Maurice is the commanding officer of Egyptian Christian soldiers known as the Theban Legion. Summoned from Egypt by Emperor Maximian, the Theban Legion marches to meet their foes, the Holy Lance at their standard. Maximian then issues a terrible order. The Christian Thebans must offer sacrifices to the emperor and the other Roman gods. The Roman emperor was the head of state, the head of the empire, but also um, a religious figure. For a Christian to pay homage to such a figure then would have been an act of renouncing one's religion. The Roman Empire at this time is undergoing a concerted effort to persecute Christianity. Emboldened or perhaps inspired by the spear of Christ, Maurice and his men refuse Maximian's order, proclaiming that despite their loyalty to Rome, they are Christians first. Emperor Maximian is outraged. He orders the decimation of Maurice's army the execution of every tenth man. The countryside soon flows with the blood of the Theban Legion, all going willingly to their deaths. Maurice, as the leader, was reminding the Christian men of their duty to be true to their faith, and in fact to consider uh, that those who had their names taken out were the lucky ones because of their martyrdom. With the spear of Christ by his side, Maurice continues to disobey the orders from Rome. Maximian decimates the Theban legion two more times, after which Maurice declares their adherence to the faith in a simple message. Maximian, we are your soldiers, but we are even more the soldiers of Christ. We cannot do what you're asking us to do. Maximian is unmoved, and no one is spared. is later canonized, becoming the first black saint, the patron saint of the Roman Empire. He represented the kind of Christianity that was so staunch, so, so fiercely held, that someone would be willing to die for it. And the name Maurice harkens back to the Greek word for black, Malan. So in subsequent Christian iconography, Maurice is often portrayed as a black man. There are not many military saints in Christianity. The fact that he was a military man made it logical that he would also have what is one of the few military relics of the whole story of Christ. As Christianity grows and the story of St. Maurice spreads, the Lance's association with the founding stories of holy martyrdom enshrouded with divine power. Exactly where the lance went is uncertain, but it would soon appear again at one of Christianity's most important battles.